Ten most famous painters in the world. One Leonardo da Vinci one four five two one thousand five hundred nineteen. Leonardo da Vinci was a renowned Italian artist, born on April fifteenth, fourteen fifty two, in Anciano, Italy, and passed away on May second, fifteen nineteen, in Amboise. France. In addition to being a painter, he was also a sculptor, architect, musician, engineer, doctor, anatomist, inventor, and natural philosopher. He is regarded as a universal genius of Italy. The city of Vinci is his birthplace, located in the territory of the province of Florence, about 30 kilometers west of the city of Florence. And it is also his surname. He is commonly referred to as Leonardo because Da Vinci means from Vinci, not his actual last name. His full name was Leonardo di Esser Piero da Vinci, meaning Leonardo, the son of Esser Piero, from Vinci. He is the author of famous works such as The Mona Lisa and The Last Supper. He had visionary ideas ahead of his time, especially in concepts related to helicopters, tanks, parachutes, the use of solar energy, computers, preliminary theories of landscape architecture, double-hulled ships, and many other inventions. Some of his designs were realized and feasible during his lifetime. The application of science in metalworking and engineering during the Renaissance was still in its infancy. Additionally, he made significant contributions to knowledge and understanding in the fields of anatomy, astronomy, civil engineering, optics, and hydraulic research. Few of his works remain from his lifetime, including a handful of paintings and several sketchbooks scattered across various collections of his work, which contain drawings, scientific illustrations, and notes. 2. Pablo Ruiz Picasso 188-1973 Pablo Ruiz Picasso was a Spanish painter and sculptor. He is considered one of the most prominent artists of the 20th century, and is often known simply as Pablo Picasso or Picasso. Picasso is regarded as one of the leading figures in 20th century art, and alongside Georges Braque, he co-founded the Cubist movement in painting and sculpture. He was ranked among the top 10 greatest artists of the 20th century by the Times Magazine in the UK. He left behind nearly 50,000 artworks spanning various mediums, including sculpture, ceramics, and paintings, some of which are among the most expensive art pieces in the world. Picasso's works are often categorized into different periods. While there is some debate about the nomenclature of his later creative periods, most agree on the division of his early work into the Blue Period, the Rose Period, the African-influenced period, which includes sculpture, the Analytic Cubism Period, and the Synthetic Cubism Period. After World War I, Picasso entered a neoclassical phase and created famous works like Guernica, which depicted the bombing of Guernica during the Spanish Civil War. Picasso was one of the 250 sculptors who participated in the Third International Sculpture Exhibition held at the Philadelphia Museum of Art in the summer of 1949. In the 1950s, the artist once again shifted his creative style, drawing inspiration from classical masters such as Diego Velsquez, Goya, Poussin, Duard Manet, Kerbet, and Delacroix. 3. Vincent van Gogh 1853-1890 Vincent van Gogh was a renowned Dutch painter. He is known as a post-impressionist master, and his works are beloved by art enthusiasts, with some of them being among the most expensive in the world. He was ranked 10th on the list of greatest Dutch people in history by Crow a Dutch broadcasting organization, in 2004. His work set records for selling prices in the 1980s and 1,990 seconds. Van Gogh was a pioneer in the Expressionist movement and had a significant influence on the Fauvist and Expressionist movements in Germany. Van Gogh began drawing and coloring with watercolors while he was still in school, but only a few of these early works exist and their authorship is uncertain. He began his career as an artist at the elementary school level. In early 1882, his uncle Cornelis Marinus, the owner of a famous contemporary art gallery in Amsterdam, commissioned him to paint a work called The Hay. 
Van Gogh's work did not meet expectations, and Marinus gave him a second commission, specifying the issue in great detail, but he was once again disappointed with the result. Van Gogh persisted, experimenting with light in his studio by altering the shutter and trying different drawing materials. For over a year, he worked solely on single-figure models, meticulous studies in black and white. At the time, his works were criticized, but they later became recognized as early masterpieces. 4. Edouard Manet, 1832-1883. Edouard Manet was a French painter, one of the first artists to depict subjects related to modern life. He is considered a key figure in the transition from realism to impressionism. His early works, such as Le D. Junior, Sir Lerby and Olympia, spark significant controversy and are seen as foundations for the emergence of Impressionist art later on today. These works are regarded as milestones in the birth of modern art. Edouard Manet was born into an aristocratic family. His father held a high-ranking position at the royal court, and his mother was the daughter of the King of Sweden and Norway's Chamberlain. Default text according to the customs of the time, Edouard Manet was expected to follow in his father's footsteps. However, fate had a different plan. While still in school, Manet showed a talent and a single-minded interest in painting. His path to becoming an artist was somewhat accidental. Failing the Naval Academy entrance exams, he had the opportunity to travel extensively. It was during his journeys around Europe that Manet gained inspiration and real-life experiences that would later manifest in his artworks. In 1848, upon completing his secondary education, the young man chose his path, painting. However, this choice did not receive his father's approval. Manet twice attempted to enter the Merchant Marine School, but was unsuccessful. Eventually, his father conceded to let him pursue a career in painting. Manet's works became the subject of intense debate in the art world, with critics and authorities dismissing them before the public. The rift over Impressionism erupted several years later, with the controversy reaching its peak during the exhibitions of Le D. Junior, Sir Lerby, and Olympia. 5. Paul Cézanne 1839-1906 Paul Cézanne was a French painter associated with post-Impressionism. He is considered a bridge between 19th-century Impressionism and 20th-century Cubism. Paul Cézanne is one of France's and the world's most renowned painters. His works consistently command high prices, with one painting selling for as much as $250 million, despite the fact that they were not widely appreciated during his lifetime. However, fellow artists greatly admired him, considering Cézanne the master of their art form. His influence was profound and extended to contemporary painters. Although he lived only six years into the 20th century, Paul Cézanne was ranked among the top 10 greatest artists of the 20th century by The Times magazine in the UK, receiving 21,098 votes, second only to the masterful Pablo Picasso. He is a post-impressionist painter, recognized as the bridge between 19th century impressionism and 20th century movements such as Cubism, Fauvism, and Expressionism. Cézanne's enormous influence ensured his name remains on the list of the greatest artists of the century. His works display sophistication in design, color, and blending. Pablo Picasso and Henry Matisse both acknowledged Cézanne as the master of their craft. Over his 40-year career, Cézanne left the world over 900 oil paintings, nearly 400 watercolors, and numerous unfinished works. 6. Rembrandt 1606-1669 Rembrandt was a Dutch painter and a renowned printmaker. His creations made significant contributions to the Golden Age of the Netherlands in the 17th century. He was also known for teaching many of the leading Dutch painters of his time. Rembrandt is considered one of the greatest artists of the Netherlands and Europe as a whole. He holds the highest position in the list of the greatest Dutch figures in history, according to Crow, an organization in the Netherlands that conducted a ranking in 2004. Three main themes dominated Rembrandt's career, portraiture, landscapes, and illustrations. In the eyes of the art world and contemporary religion, he was a master of biblical illustration, capturing emotions and details. His painting style evolved from soft, 
smooth strokes in his early years to rougher, more expressive ones that conveyed the subject's emotions more vividly. In addition to his advancements in painting technique, Rembrandt also made strides in printmaking and etching. During the later etching period, particularly from the 1640s onward, freedom and exuberance became more pronounced. At the start of the 20th century, it was believed that the artist created around 600 completed paintings, nearly 400 etchings, and about 2,000 drawings. Recent research, however, has yielded a much smaller figure, with roughly fewer than 300 completed paintings. Rembrandt is known to have painted many self-portraits, once believed to be around 90, but some of these were likely executed by his apprentices as part of their training. The number of self-portraits created by Rembrandt himself is estimated to be just over 40, not to mention several drawings and 31 etchings. 7. Andy Warhol 1928-1987 Andy Warhol was a famous American artist known for his contributions to popular art. He achieved success as a commercial illustrator, often painting modern, commercial subjects, and also ventured into avant-garde filmmaking. Warhol worked with various traditional mediums such as hand drawing, painting, printmaking, silk screening, sculpture, photography, film, and music throughout his artistic career. In 2009, the Economist described Warhol in an article as the bellwether of the art market. After a successful career as a commercial illustrator, Warhol became a famous and sometimes controversial artist. His art utilized various media, including hand drawing, painting, printmaking, photography, silk screening, sculpture, film, and music. The factory was a renowned gathering place for intellectuals, bohemians, playwrights, Hollywood celebrities, and wealthy individuals. He managed and produced for the rock band The Velvet Underground, which had a significant influence on the development of punk rock music. Warhol also founded the magazine Interview and authored several books, including The Philosophy of Andy Warhol and Popism, The Warhol Sixties. He was also famous for openly identifying as a gay man well before the gay liberation movement, and he coined the widely used phrase, 15 minutes of fame. 8. Henry Matisse, 1869-1954. Henry Matisse was a French artist renowned for his mastery of color and fluidity, as well as his exceptional painting and graphic design skills. He is considered one of the greatest artists of the 20th century, known for his pioneering role in the Fauvist movement and, in the 1920s, his elevation of classical tradition in French painting. Matisse's talent lay in expressive color, language, and distinctive painting technique. He is considered a leading figure in modern art. Matisse constantly sought creative innovation and refused to compromise his artistic ideals to produce commercially popular work. He studied the works of impressionist figures like Cézanne and Van Gogh, absorbing their essence and generating new creative energy. Initially pushed by his family to study law, Matisse abandoned his legal studies in 1891 to enroll in art school, studying in the workshop of painter Gustave Moreau. During his early years, Matisse was captivated by the Louvre's artworks and would frequently visit to study and copy the masterpieces. Around the same time, Matisse painted in plein air with Impressionist artists. He deeply admired his fellow artists' work considering it a source of creative essence. As a result, he sometimes purchased their paintings. Among these was Cézanne's Bathers. Starting in 1896, Matisse often painted still lifes and landscapes in the Impressionist style, particularly notable for their abundance, serenity, and joy. Signic bought one of these paintings when it was displayed at the Independent Exhibition in 1905 where Matisse and his friends organized an influential art show. It was here that the term Fauvism was coined. American writer Gertrude Stein and Sergei Shukin also helped spread Matisse's fame through their collection of his work and favorable comments about him. 9. Jackson Pollock, 1912-1956. Jackson Pollock was a renowned American artist and a central figure in the abstract expressionist movement. He became famous for his unconventional paintings created between 1947 and 1950, 
particularly works like Autumn Rhythm No. 30, where he used basic colors of brown, white, and black. Jackson Pollock aimed to convey emotions through the movement of forms, rather than relying on color. Throughout his life, Pollock was both famous and infamous. He was a major artist of his generation. Far from being modest, he had a volatile personality and struggled with alcohol addiction throughout his life. In 1945, he married artist Lee Krasner, who became a significant source of inspiration for his career and legacy. Pollock tragically died in a car accident at the age of 44 in 1956, during a time when he was at the height of his career. In December 1956, just four months after his death, a memorial retrospective of Pollock's work was organized at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Larger exhibitions of his work were held in 1967. In 1998 and 1999, Pollock's art was honored with exhibitions at MoMA and the Tate, London. 10. Edgar Degas 1834-1917 Artist Edgar Degas, born in 1834 in Paris, was the son of a wealthy banker. He studied fine arts in Paris, France, and in Italy. Degas became famous in the art world as a leading figure of the Impressionist movement, along with Vincent van Gogh and Edouard Manet. Degas is particularly renowned for his depictions of young ballet dancers. One of his notable works, The Dance Class, captured the form of ballerinas in his studio. Most of Degas's works portrayed scenes of horse racing, the theater, cafes, music, or interiors. He had a keen and nuanced perspective on women, often depicting them in his art. His subjects included elements from nature or poses reminiscent of photography. Edgar Degas produced art from unconventional subjects that few artists explored before him. For example, he captured the act of adjusting a dress, warm and intimate moments of nude models, or the act of ballet dancers scratching their backs during rehearsals. Little Dancer Aged 14 sculpture created by Edgar Degas is now found at the National Gallery of Art. The bronze material was used to cast the sculpture after his death. The original work was displayed in 1881 and was later used as a model for a wax version in which Degas added a wig and a fabric tutu. Many critics at the time criticized it as an inappropriate subject for such a masterful artistic. Degas did not achieve great fame during his lifetime, but after his death, his true genius was recognized.